Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. There is no turning back now. As always, hope you're ready for another episode of uh, reviewing weird stuff here on YouTube. Um, I really wanted to upload this uh, little review before Halloween, um, as it contains a Dracula themed review as you can see in the thumbnail as well um, however unfortunately I failed because I was just incredibly busy with the books um, my books that uh, have been released recently via Kickstarter called Creatures and Pictures I'm going to feature those books on this channel very soon as well however today uh, we are going to review a very special uh, one of my collectibles um, uh, which I've done a repaint to as you can see um, this uh, face cast Dracula face cast was produced by William Forche an industry veteran special effects artist um, he's selling these copies amongst many other uh, uh, creatures, characters, actors uh, on his Etsy shop. Uh, I will include the link in the description down below. Now this face cast is uh, quite obviously from uh, Francis Ford Coppola's uh, 1992 seminal Dracula film. Uh, the makeups uh, been produced uh, by Academy Award winning Greg Kenham who uh, is one of uh, the biggest artists uh, working in the industry um, I would like to mention here if you don't mind guys that Greg uh, recently has suffered some uh, serious health issues and uh, he has a GoFundMe page uh, which uh, I'm going to include a link to in the description and please if you can donate uh, any amount it would be greatly appreciated he's a true legend and he needs the help all the help he can get at the moment as I mentioned before William Forsha is the gentleman who is selling these copies uh, in his Etsy shop um, and uh, he usually using them as plaster costs uh, what they uh, generally use in the industry however uh, i contacted him because i knew it from the very beginning that um, i want to paint it uh, and i asked him if it would be okay if he could do a urethane copy for me so i can paint it uh, and he was uh, very happy um, to oblige and so here we are guys as you can see it's uh, fully painted now um, this uh, was a, a good couple of sessions uh, I don't want to lie to you I would say probably like six seven maybe eight hours altogether I was working on this I really went for the translucency and I wanted to create that um, you know vampire like effect uh, which you will be hopefully uh, see when we're moving closer together now um, I'm not gonna lie it's very hard to photograph this thing because um, the light kind of just knocks all the subtle differences out uh, because it's white you know the, the, the face cost itself arrives white and I primed it and started the painting procedure and uh, here you can see it a little bit better that what i tried to do here now the original makeup in the film was very subtly painted um, i would say kind of underpainted uh, and i think that was because of lack of time uh, they had to apply the makeup uh, in a quick manner so they couldn't really do elaborate uh, paint job on it um, you can see some pictures here I will include uh, nonetheless uh, the, the makeup looks absolutely gorgeous the sculpt is there so it, it was uh, very easy uh, 
for lack of a better word, to, to create what I was going for here. Now, as we're moving uh, closer and closer here, um, you see uh, the layers uh, of paint uh, I, I put on the, the face cast to create the translucency. It was very important to me because um, this is one of my favorite films of all times. And I know for some people they say it didn't age well, you know, the love story and everything. I absolutely love this film and I grew up with it and I really just wanted to pay my respect. So sorry, here guys you can see that uh, in the original makeup there he doesn't have lips, but uh, I, I gave lips. To the to the uh, makeup here just just very subtle you know because I really felt that will help uh, with the realism and all all the crevices and and uh, the details that I try to include um, it it was a whole lot of work but definitely a labor of love from my part it's such an accomplishment to be able to paint this beautiful face mask and now that we are here under different lysos uh, you can see that um, it's kind of a reflex light bounce light here hopefully you can see the details a little bit more and you will be able to see also that after I finished with everything and uh, tied everything together I applied a thin coat of uh, medium shine acrylic seal on the top of it because as far as I remember he was kind of slimy at the end of the film and I just like that look. And here you guys can see a better close-up of the uh, lips. Um, so as I mentioned the original makeup didn't feature these lips but it was kind of a creative decision I just really wanted to tie it together and, and I felt that it would help with the realism. Um, so that's why I've done it. Um, but this was such a bucket list thing for me as well, uh, because as I mentioned before, I just really love this film and uh, uh, these makeups are absolutely gorgeous and I really wanted to do this. Here you guys can see the back of the cast. Uh, you can see it's just a simple urethane cast and there is a hook there where you can hook it up and before the end of the video I'm gonna show you uh, where he rests. And that's all about it ladies and gentlemen. There is not much else to be said about this piece apart from maybe the fact that these makeups and more specifically this one here um, is just a stroke of genius in my opinion it's just so subtle yet visceral and animalistic it's just a beautiful design and and this film features not only some of the best vampire makeups ever made but also uh, certainly the best looking dracula ever there is just by looking at the piece, one can surely appreciate uh, and see the artistry that went into the creation of these characters and these makeups, uh, the design choices, the creative choices. Everything just works. It's very appealing. It was an absolute pleasure and an honor to paint this piece. And these makeups inspired generations since then the makeup artists copying uh, these vampires since then and here you can see me uh, in live <laughs> very risky uh, putting the uh, head in its final resting place above my studio table where he rests and thank you so much for being here with me today again watching this little video and i promise you i will be doing more videos in the future thanks so much again and i guess i see you on the next one